Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome back to another English class. So let's see who do we have here. Let me check. Okay, I know some of you are traveling. Algunos todavía van pues viajando. I know it is kind of difficult, but let's see. We can start in a couple of seconds. Si podemos comenzar dentro de unos cuantos segundos. Okay. Hello, Janet. Good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Uh, can you hear me? ¿Me escuchas? Yes? Okay, yes, yes. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Here we have also Kevin, Gisela, Flor, Cesar, Elia, Jose Mauricio, Mario Dalis, Fernando, and Douglas. I know some of you are traveling, and thank you for the ones that a text on WhatsApp group. That's really important because I can know uh, if you are ready to, to participate. Flor de Maria, good evening, Flor. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Tell me. I'm fine. And you? Fine. Okay. Yes, I'm really good. Even it's Monday. I know that Monday it's uh, really complicated, right? Sí. Yes, it is not so easy. So, mm -hmm. so. Un día bien ajetreado para mí, pero aquí estamos. Yes, I know. I know it's kind of difficult, right? Uh, yes, Mondays are always kind of complicated, son un poquito complicado los, los lunes. El lunes, para mí bastante, se me juntan muchas cosas últimamente. Mm, really, yes, that usually happens. So let's see, who do we have here besides Flor? And uh, here we have some others. So we're going to wait a couple of seconds, vamos a esperar un poquito. So déjame revisar algo. Okay, here we have also Marvin. Good evening, Marvin. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I can hear you, Marvin. Can you speak? Um, yes, now. Okay, how was your day? A little hard because it's Monday. Yeah, I know Mondays are so difficult all the all yeah. the time. Yeah. yeah okay. like that, so yes. Monday. And what time do you usually finish your work, Marvin? At five p.m. Oh, okay, that's okay. And how much time do you take uh, traveling from your job to your house? One hour, two mm -hmm. hours. Around fifteen minutes. No, that's really good. That's really yeah, fast. My house. This is lost in my house. Yeah, that's yeah. You're very fortunate. 
because yeah. some other people have to what have to wait in a traffic jam or they take like more than one hour to, to travel to move from another place to other so good for you yeah. marvin okay mm -hmm. that sounds really good okay my friends and uh, we're going to start the topic is the passive voice el tema es la voz pasiva the passive voice and in this case uh, what we're going to do just give me a second Okay, the passive voice, this is the class number three and la clase numero tres. So in this case, we're going to start by um, having this new vocabulary. And this new vocabulary is ways to say thank you. It is very, very common that we always say thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And there are different phrases or several ways to express the same idea. As I have told you before, something that is really really relevant in my english classes uh, is that you can express yourself using the same idea but applying to different words different phrases and that um, that reflects that your english is improving it's better or you have an extended vocabulary se nota que tiene un vocabulario más extenso si lo se si utilizan diferentes tipos de frases. So, the first option that we have here is I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. In this case, when we have a T between two vowels, the T sounds is like um, R. La T suena como R cuando hay dos vocales. Eh, digamos, cuando hay dos vocales alrededor de la T. Pueden decir, I really appreciate it, but it's better to say, I really appreciate it. I owe you one. I'm in your debt. You make my day. Thanks a bunch. You're the best. You're, you're the best. Thanks a million. Thank so much. Realmente lo aprecio. I owe you one, te debo una, I owe you one, I'm in your debt, estoy en deuda, you make my day, como que ve, me hiciste el día, thanks a bunch, gracias a montones, you're the best, eres el mejor, thanks a million, million de gracias, thanks so much that this last one is the most common that it is used in different types of conversation so i really appreciate it i owe you one i'm in your debt you make my day thanks a bunch bunch you're the best thanks a million thanks so much okay so i'm going to call one by one i'm going to check the attendance list and you uh, say hi good evening present i am here I'm alive, I'm breathing. And then please uh, pronounce one of these phrases that I'm presenting to you. Okay. Just let me check something here. We start with Abel and Nilsson. Hello. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. A million. Yeah, nice. Thanks a million. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, Alexandra is moving. So Brenda. Are you there? No, Brenda. Okay. Cesar Ernesto Bonilla. Present teacher. Hello, Cesar. Okay, what's your phrase? You make my day. Okay, good one. Uh, we go with Douglas Humberto now. I am here. Hello, Douglas. You're okay. the best. Okay, very nice. Now let's listen to Elia Janira. 
present. Hello, Elia. What's your phrase? Thanks, Emilio. Okay, thanks, Emilio. Okay, very nice. And we go now with Fatima del Carmen. Present teacher, you Hello. make my day. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Fatima. Fernando Josue Anaya. I'm here, I'm here. Hello, Fernando. Okay, what's your phrase, my friend? I really appreciate it. Nice. Very good pronunciation. Flor de Maria. Good night, teacher. Uh, you make my day. Okay, perfect. Gisela Beatriz Hernandez. Present teacher. I Hello. really appreciate it. Very nice. Okay, Jose Mauricio is moving. Parece que está bien. Se va, se va pues, movilizando. Juan Cristóbal Alemán. Do we have Juan here? Present teacher. Okay, hello, Juan. Hello, hello. Okay, what's your phrase? Thanks so much. Nice. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Hey. No. Okay, eh, Carla Daniela Molina. No, either. Okay, um, Laura Guadalupe Fuentes. Marvin Edenilson Arias. Yeah. Hello, Marvin. Okay, what's your phrase? I know you want. Nice, thank you. Mirna Janet Angel. Present teacher. Hello, Mirna. Okay. Thanks a lot. Good. Podalis de Maria Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Good best. Okay. Thank you. I know. <laughs> okay. Nice. And here we go with Oscar Armando Santos. Okay. Oscar, no. Rosa is moving. Va de camino, dice Rosa. Ok, Kevin Ramiro Vázquez. No, Kevin. Ok, Liliana Alejandra Valencia. No, Mario Eduardo Ramos. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hi. Mario. Ok, nice. Noé Vladimir. And Adriana Raquel. Present teacher. Hello, Adriana. Mm -hmm. What's Hello. your phrase? You are the best. Thank you. Tu apellido siempre me, me, me causa, me intriga. Me intriga demasiado. ¿Por qué? Nunca había escuchado eso. Y tengo 15 años de, de ser teacher y he escuchado muchos apellidos, pero el tuyo es bien particular. Okay. It's very particular. Okay. Uh, let's see this, my friends. Here we have the first speaking activity. La primera actividad oral. If you could, could, no cold, it's could. Let me write it here. So you can have an idea and don't confuse. If you could ask God any question, what would it be? Okay, so in this case, do we have volunteers for this question? I guess it's really, really interesting. Imagine uh, having God for you to ask anything you want to know. It could be right. Maybe in my case, I will have like what? I will have like more than one question, definitely. But I don't know if you, in your case, if you have some, some others. For example, here we have Juan Cristobal. What about you, Juan? Any idea about this? Yes, yes. Okay, Juan, tell us. And then Flor. Okay. If you call... Ask any question, what will it be? Uh, why do we miss the God? Okay, why do we miss 
means the go of good. Good, el, lo good. bueno. Lo, sí, porque el, se nos va lo bueno. Lo bueno, yes. Yes, because we can have that for, for our life, right? We have it for periods of times. I don't know. That's part of the life, but very interesting. Thank you, Juan. What about Flor? And after Flor, we're going to have Adriana. Uh, I would ask him why life is so on fire, why life often you are to do so are not fire. Okay, why the life is not so fair, okay, or it's unfair, porque a veces es injusta. Exactly. Okay, Correct. why why is that happening? And especially for good people. Maybe not for us, but we know good people. And life is sometimes it's really, really bad for that kind of, of person, good people. Well, uh, thank you for a very interesting question as well. And Adriana, and then we go with Mario. Okay. I will ask him why he decided to take my grandmother so soon. Mm -hmm. That's something I guess maybe we all of us have one person that we miss a lot. We yes. really miss uh, the person. And uh, in particular, it is special, uh, well, a special relative sometimes or friend. So we really miss. We know that people don't live forever, right? But maybe, a couple of years of his or her presence, you will be really, really pleasant. Thank you, Adriana. Okay. And okay, I really miss my grandma as well. Definitely, I miss her. Mario, you go and then Odalis. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mario. Um, I will ask him, would I be on heaven? Mm. <laughs> Very good. Yes, <laughs> See, why not? Why not? <laughs> just to have just to have your chance in there, your space, yeah, para apartar el lugarcito, right? Yes. Why yes. not? Okay. <laughs> Very interesting question. Thank you, Mario. Okay, let's go with Odalis and then Janet. If you could ask good any question, but would it be read? Uh, why did my grandparents? Live with him so Okay. Yes, similar to Adriana. Yes. And if you noticed, we in our entire life, we have contact with some relatives, but there are some other relatives that have more contact with them. For example, uh, there are a lot of kids that they didn't know and their grandparents and niños que nunca conocieron sus abuelitos for example but there are some others that they have more time and it's like mm, come on i would like to have more time with my grandparents with my mother with my okay whoever thank you uh, janet and marvin what i will become of my if i got not me do can you repeat again please your question what will become of my up five God not me do? Okay, eh, te refieres que si, eh, si cambiaría algo, eh, o oh, a qué te refieres? Que fuera de mí si no te hubiera conocido. Ah, okay, what mm -hmm. well, will be of me if I mm -hmm, didn't know you? Okay, and that's something very good because I know that from the Bible, it says that uh, it is impossible to see God, right? Because God, it's, it is not a person, okay? It, it, is, uh, it is, yeah, the source of life. But in this case, maybe we are not going to see an old man. No, it's like, well, part of the mystery of life. Thank you. And we go with Marvin. Okay, Marvin, what about you? In my case, I don't have an idea what can I ask because when I think talk with good, um, it's very uh, exciting. I don't know what can I ask because 
um, I can ask whatever thing and I have, I will have the answer. So I don't have an idea what to ask. Okay, not a certain question, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Okay, my friends, we're going to we're going to continue with this activity later. In this case, let me show you something. Okay, I need you to take a look at this and look at the yellow column. Quiero que vean la columna amarilla. Okay, take a look at this column and try to remember one word, okay? One word or two words. Take your time. Okay, I'm going to ask you in a moment. Okay, Gisela, what, what word do you remember from that column? And then we go with Janet. Isela. Hello. Eh, del color amarillo, ¿cuál recuerdo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, angry, algo así creo que decía. Okay, angry, good. Janet and then Elia. I'm sorry. Que perdí la pantalla. No okay, pude ver, no, no problem. Okay, let's listen to Elia and then Flor. No, 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 me perdí también. No, didn't, no one. Okay, Flor and Juan. Uh, beautiful, happy, new, sweet, hungry. Okay, a lot of adjectives. Good, Juan, and then we go with Abel and then Nelson. Wonderful, John. Nice, wonderful, okay. Well, mm -hmm. Interesting. Abel and then Adriana. Thank you. I know the picture, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Adriana and then Odalis. Me too, teacher. I didn't see that. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay. Odalis and then we go with Fernando. Happy. Easy, easy peasy, right? Okay, Fernando, do you remember any word from that column? Yeah, angry, attractive, also bad. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. And now yeah, I want to show you something. Uh, this is an extra vocabulary for you to know. We have adjectives, tenemos los adjetivos, and adjectives are words that describes a person or a place or a situation. That's an adjective. And so, for example, we can say that um, we know beautiful people, como la canción de Marilyn Manson, uh, when something is cheap, cuando algo es barato, when a person is funny, cuando una persona es graciosa, Okay, and so on. Okay, when a car is new or a car or a car is old, right? And then here we have comparatives. Así que quiero que tomen en cuenta algo. Here we have two types of adjectives. Tenemos dos tipos de adjetivos con respecto a su escritura. We have adjectives that they have two syllables and adjectives that have more than two syllables. Adjetivos que tienen dos sílabas o una sílaba y otros adjetivos que tienen más de dos o tres sílabas. ¿Y qué son las sílabas? For example, we say tomato. No es un adjetivo, pero es un ejemplo. Tomato. Ok. Ahora tenemos eh, attractive. Attractive. So, I need you to <clears throat> describe something. Quiero que describan algo. Puede ser una persona, puede ser un lugar, puede ser una situación. Okay. Try to look at this and select one and describe. 
Um, for example, I can say, my, my brother is angry. My brother is angry. Okay, let's listen now to Mario and then we go with Adriana. Okay, Mario, you can talk about your family, you can talk about your pets, and you can talk about a friend. Okay, in my case, my brother is angry. Okay, Mario. Okay, teacher. In my case, I have a dog. No. And, and my dog is, is very funny. Okay, my dog is funny. Thank you. Adriana, and then we go with Marvin. Okay. Um, my sister is... is Beautiful. Thank you. It's more Marvin. beautiful than me. Okay. Uh, even we are talking about uh, adjectives in base form. Ahorita estamos con la forma base. Ahora, lo que tú estás utilizando son los comparatives. Está muy bien. Okay. Ya lo vamos a ver. Thank you. Marvin and then Fernando. I buy a modern cell phone. Mm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you very well. Could you repeat, please? I bought a modern cell phone. A modern cell phone, good one. And Fernando? Then Abel. Okay, uh, let's listen to Abel. Okay, thank you, Abel. And then Elia. My brother is bad play soccer. Thank you. Elia? My mother is happy. Thank you very much. Now, we are talking about adjectives in the base form. Estamos hablando de adjetivos en su forma base. Entonces, acá solo describimos. Ahora, cuando utilizamos comparatives, en este caso, lo que estamos haciendo es que estamos comparando dos cosas. Y aquí vamos a anotar una palabra clave que es dan. Dan, que significa que ahora los adjetivos cortos vamos a utilizar er, ok, y los adjetivos largos vamos a utilizar more famous, pero para este caso vamos a utilizar dos cosas, por ejemplo, my brother is angrier than my sister, estoy utilizando el primero, mira, ok, My brother is angrier than my sister. Ahora, necesito que, oh, podemos decir, the cat is angrier than the dog. Piensen en una oración así, utilizando ahora los comparatives, ¿ok? Utilizando ahorita estos comparativos. Lean. Ok. So, in this case, uh, we're going to start now with Gisela, okay, Gisela, puedes utilizar, you can use the same uh, adjective or a different, okay, aquí tenemos dos ejemplos como lo puedes utilizar, recuerda que necesitamos, eh, cuando decimos my brother y aquí my sister, aquí escribí the cat y aquí escribí the dog, okay, Gisela. Okay, uh... Sería Cristiano Ronaldo eh, is more famous than Messi. Ok, yes. Is more famous than Messi. Perfect. Thank you. We go with Juan and then we go with um, Fatima. My sister is happy. Happier than Happier. brother. Perfect, Juan. Very nice. Okay. Uh, for, uh, now we go with Fatima and Adriana. Okay, Fatima. Okay, if, if Fatima is not ready, let's go with Adriana and then Elia. Okay, with comparative? Yes, with comparatives, please. Okay, my mother is... More angrier than me. En este caso solo sería angrier. 
sin el more. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. My mother is angrier than me. Thank you. Elia and then Mario. My mother is happy and father is famous. Ok. En este caso necesitamos dos. Mira. Aquí tenemos mm -hmm. este y este. Entonces sería my mother is... Eh, sería happier, ¿verdad? Happier, happier mm -hmm. than my father. Okay? ¿Ok? Hay que ubicarlos así de esa manera. Thank you. Mario, okay. and after Mario, we go with Abel. Hello. Hello there. <clears throat> Angelina Jolie is more attractive than... I don't know. Uh, Beyonce. Okay. Okay. Very nice example. Thank you. Okay. Abel, and then we go with Flor. Okay. My brother is more famous than me. Okay. More famous than me. Okay. Flor, and after Flor, we go with um, Rosa. My, my son is beautiful that my sister. Okay, is more. More. Is more beautiful than my sister. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rosa and then Cesar. Ah, Rosa is, is not available. Okay, Cesar. And then we go with Laura. My mother yep. is more, is angry than my sister. Okay, is angrier than my sister. Angrier. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, Laura, and then we go with... Mm -hmm. Okay, Laura, I don't know if you're ready, then Fernando. My sister, funnier than my brother. Okay, is funnier than my brother and Fernando. The internet is worse than the internet of my neighbor. Okay, very good example. Thank you. Okay, and what are we checking this? ¿Por qué estamos revisando eso? Porque para describirlo, describir algo es fácil. Por ejemplo, my dog is beautiful, my house is big, My family is happy. Pero cuando queremos comparar, when we want to compare, we have to use this column. Tenemos que utilizar esta columna de los comparativos, ¿ok? Here we have some other explanation. Tenemos otra explicación acá. Eh, como les explicaba, acá tenemos básicamente lo que tiene una sílaba. Acá, ¿verdad? Se les tiene que agregar ER. ¿Ok? Aquí está. Entonces, cuando tenemos, por ejemplo, fast, faster, young, younger. Por eso, angry es angrier, happy, happier. No decimos more happy. And, y los que tienen más, eh, por ejemplo, si tienen acá más sílabas, agregamos el more. More famous, more beautiful, more popular, more important. Y así sucesivamente. Entonces, eso nos sirve para, pues, mmm, comparar, ¿ok? To compare. Now, let's continue. Después vamos a ver otro pequeño, otra pequeña revisión de estos adjetivos. Ok. Let's move with this. In this case, here we have a conversation between Jessica and Roxana. And let's check this. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rec. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but in the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, I want to establish some points in here 
por ejemplo, cuando tenemos the, que es un artículo, y tenemos una palabra con, que inicia con vocal, se dice the industrial. No se dice the industrial. The industrial. Este es safety engineer. Uh -huh. Then we have also department. No decimos department. Es department. And maintenance. Responsible. Responsible. And here we have also. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. So if you notice here. Here we have floor manager, <coughs> como digámoslo de esta manera, es la persona encargada, encargada de, es como pues el gerente de piso, la encargada. Safety engineer, maintenance chief, cuando decimos chief, significa jefe. Ok, it's similar to boss. Here, chief, no chef, it's chief. Here we have the supervisor. Here we have maintenance personnel, no personal, personal, es plural. Machine operators, assemblers, and truck drivers. So the big boss, el jefe, is the floor manager, but then the, uh, he or she has some coordinators. It's the safety engineer and maintenance chief. Okay, so let's listen again the pronunciation and we're going to practice it. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am or I'm the industrial safety engineer. Engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Uh, I need you to have an accent like a question. Necesito que el acento de las preguntas esté bien detallado. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. So in this case, uh, the industrial here, we have the, this vocabulary, the industrial engineer department responsible, maintenance, chief, sure. Okay. So we're going to have a short practice. Vamos a tener una pequeña práctica. Maybe Juan can help us. Sending this picture. Could you please, Juan? Yes. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. So let's check in here. So remember this vocabulary is important because we are talking about enterprises, companies. And here we have a jerky, like a scale range, un rango de niveles, okay? So it is important to know that you have your coordinators, you have your chief, your boss, and so on. Okay, um, Juan, could you please send me the captura? Let's check this. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, Odalis, please. Listo, ya lo envié. Ah, okay, thank you, JC. 
Okay, we're going to have a very brief practice and then we continue with some questions of this um, conversation. Okay, just give me a second mientras or los ordeno porque algunos de ustedes creo que van en, en movimiento y se les hace difícil participar. Okay. Okay, let me see. Para mientras, denle una revisada a esa conversación, practiquenla, practice a little bit, practiquen un poco para que a la hora de ya de, de la práctica con su compañero o compañera no tengan dificultades. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. Let's practice. Janet, ¿es necesario que aceptes la solicitud? Y Abel también, necesito que la acepten, ¿ok? Good. Oscar, es necesario que aceptes la solicitud también para entrar a los breakout rooms.
Okay, Douglas, ready? Adriana? Now we are ready to participate. Let me see. Hello, Janet. Okay, now here we have this uh, conversation. Okay, Flor, who was your classmate? Mario. <laughs> Mario, pobre Mario, se estaba escondiendo. Ok, I'm sorry, Mario, for you. Good evening. Ok. Hello, Jose. Welcome back. And here we have Mario and, and Flor, sure. please. Sí. The, the word maintenance or maintenance, how do you say? Uh, you can say it to both ways. Maintenance. Uh -huh. Yeah. Main, maintenance or maintenance maintenance como que la T es silent maintenance, mm -hmm. maintenance. Okay. thank you yeah, of course uh, let's listen to some of you but instead of using Roxana Sorry. yes Juan eh, yo le escuché mm, se dice así oh, prácticamente man, mind names Maintenance, como que solo está la T. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Este en Mainland. este caso. Mainland. Bueno. En este caso, la, la palabra T. más. Mm -hmm. Yo es casi que silent. hasta la T llega. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Mainland. Mainland. Mm -hmm. bien, bien extraña esa, esa palabra. Sí. <laughs> ok, my friends, uh, let's practice a little bit. Flor and Mario, but we are not going to use Roxana and Jessica, okay? Use your names. Yes, Gisela. Uh, Hello. Uh, safety. Ah, safety. 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 Uh, safety. Uh, safety. Uh, safety. Uh, safety. Uh, safety. Uh, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, keeping the safety of the plant. Uh, safe. La E is silent. O sea, no se pronuncia la E. Safety. Safety. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Yes. Mario tiene una cara de que me agarraron en curva. Iba I'm pasando. Ready. I'm ok. Ya. Yeah. Perfect. Showtime. Mario en flor. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety safety of the plant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mario. Um, I see. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Of the department work together, but the maintenance chief is the charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to Jim. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, thank you very much. And this is another word, uh, direct or directing, both ways, okay? Uh, what is that? Cuando decimos dirección, we can say direction or direction, and both ways direction. are acceptable, okay? Yes, thank you very much. So in this case, you can see that they are talking... Uh, talking about functions and responsible for or responsible to. Cuando decimos responsible for, nos referimos a que es responsable de un grupo de personas, from a group of people, eh, es responsable de hacer ciertas funciones, pero cuando decimos respons responsible to, es que a quién le tiene que rendir cuentas, a quién de, de, deben de, de dirigirse como, como que supervisores, como jefe inmediato. So, hola Roxana, bienvenido a Rex. Mi nombre es Jessica, soy la ingeniera de, se, de seguridad industrial. 
Gracias, Jessica. Gusto conocerte. Mi departamento es responsable de mantener la seguridad de la planta. Ya veo, seré parte del departamento de mantenimiento. Eh, y ahí le dice, will I be responsible to you? O sea, me voy a dirigir a ti, me voy a reportar a ti. Y le dice Jessica, great. Genial, nuestros departamentos trabajan juntos, pero el jefe de mantenimiento es encargado de dirigir tu departamento. Tú, se le, tú serás eh, o tú le responderás a él, pero te, te dirigirás a él. Gracias, Jessica. ¿Puedo llamarte si necesito ayuda? Seguro. Ok. So, in this case, here we have manager. Bien. Here we have safety engineer. Maintenance chief or maintenance chief. El supervisor, en este caso, él es eh, responsible to. Ok. Le responde a, le, 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 le entrega cuentas a ¿eh? safety engineer. Pero el supervisor, aquí tenemos supervisor, is responsible for machine operators and supervisor is responsible for assemblers. Si se dan cuenta, solo es una palabra que cambia. Responsible for, responsible to. Okay, so in this case, imagine, Flor, uh, you have your, your boss, right? Tienes tu jefe, or your coordinator, supervisor, right? Okay, so you are responsible to that person. Okay, can you mention yes. the name? Can you can you say the, the could you say the name of your chief, your supervisor, coordinator, boss? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, you can invent. Ah. Uh, o puedes inventar uh, No. Uh, o tienes gente a cargo. You you have people. You have teams. You are coordinated. Uh, both, of course, both. Yo, okay, uh -huh. Tengo eh, jefes arriba y yo tengo personas bajo mi cargo. A cargo, cargo. okay. O sea, so tengo, you are okay. responsible for some employees. Tienes, eh, re, responsa, eres responsable de algunos empleados, right? Okay, it yes. can, they can be teams, they can be instructors, facilitators, eh, whatever, okay? So that's it. And everybody, everybody is responsible to. Y todos le debemos de rendir cuentas a alguien. Así cuando decimos, I'm, I'm responsible to my coordinator. I am responsible to my boss, my supervisor, and so on. Okay? So you can use responsible for, pueden utilizar eso cuando ustedes tienen gente a cargo. Okay? So that's okay. it. Okay. Uh, good. Let's listen to some of these questions. And now here we have this. Juan, can you help us with one of these um, words, uh, words, questions? Here we have one, two, three, or four. We're going to compare this information with, with the conversation, okay? Okay. What number? Um, three. Okay, let's go with three. Would you is please? Roxana responsible to? Okay, who? Mm -hmm. Who is Roxana responsible to? Who? Aquí, mm -hmm. ¿A quién le debe de rendir cuentas, Roxana? Okay. Of direction the department you be yes. responsible to him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. The chief, uh-huh. In charge the of directing. Chain mm -hmm. of direction you department you be responsible to him. Uh-huh. The yes, that's it. Thank you very much. Here we have number three. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Let's listen now to Jose Mauricio. Can you help us? One, two, or four. Depends on you. And then we go with Oscar. Uh, one. Number one. Could you read it, please? Who is responsible? Who is responsible for uh, keeping for keeping the safety of the personal mm -hmm. in the plan? Uh -huh. Who is responsible for? ¿Quién es responsable de eso? 
of keeping um, hmm, the safety. Sería... Mm -hmm. Here we have mm -hmm. this. ¿Quién es responsable de mantener la seguridad del personal en la planta? Mm -hmm. uh, sería Roxana. No. Oh. Uh, uh, pero dice eh, Jessica, perdón, porque mm -hmm. dice my department is responsible, responsible for keeping. Ok, keeping the safety mm -hmm. of the plant. Eh, the that's the department. Pero si decimos who, quién, ajá, ¿verdad? Is Jessica, ok. That's it. Jessica. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, what about number two and four, Oscar? Two or four? Number two. Number two. Ok, my friend, go. Who is a charge of directing the maintenance? Personal. Ok, who is in charge? Okay. Who, who is in is charge? In... Uh -huh. ¿Quién está encargado? Uh -huh. um, Jessica sería. But the maintenance chef is at the yes. church. Uh -huh. The maintenance direct... chief. chief. The uh -huh. maintenance chief. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. el, el jefe, of el jefe de mantenimiento. Definitely, he is because it's, it's a man. He says him. Thank him. you. And yeah, okay. very good. And Fernando, could you help us with number four? I don't know if Fernando is there. If not, Gisela is going to help us. Okay, Gisela. Number four, look at the organizational chart above. Number four, could you read it, please? Okay. Uh, look up the organizational chart above. Organizational chart above. Who, Who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to? To, mm -hmm. o sea, safety engineer and maintenance or maintenance chief. ¿A quién le responden? ¿A quién deben de rendirle cuentas? Ok, let's check this chart. Vamos a ver este cuadro. Uh -huh. Safety engineer. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. who? ¿A quién? Floor manager. Yes, floor manager. So they have to send reports. They have to present information about what is going on with the company and their functions. Thank you, Hisela. Very good done. So now that we have this, um, something very, but really important. Two, well, three points. Use verb plus ing after prepositions. Utilizamos el verbo con ing después, after prepositions, like for or of. Ok, in this case, eh, vamos a utilizar verbos con ing después de la preposición for o la preposición of. Se dice of, no se dice of. Si decimos of, es off. -F. Aquí es of. Ok. In expressions as be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, dedicated to. O sea, acá. Cuando dicen que eres responsable de, estás eh, a cargo de, estás uh -huh, bajo la supervisión de y todo eso. Entonces, cuando te, te, vemos estas palabras, when we can notice these words for, or of, we're going to use verbs with ing. Vamos a utilizar verbos con ing. Ya vamos a ver esto. Okay. Now, eh, number two. To say who you report to, use be responsible to or be accountable to. Dice que para decir eh, que who you report to, a quién te reportas, a quién, con quién te entiendes, usa be responsible to, be accountable to. Ok. To talk about your responsibilities. Para hablar de tus responsabilidades, your responsibility, use responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for. Okay? Easy. So in this case, let's listen. Juan, in your case, you have people under your command. 
you have team, your coordinator, or you have, uh, you just have like supervisor or coordinator? No, no, no. Okay, but. Eh, hmm? Creo que la infraestructura como está en mi, no tiene ese organigrama. It is not the same chart, okay? Casi is... que está jefe y de ahí plano todo. Okay, no it is hay... like the personnel is like very in different areas, and but there is not a scalated chart. No, no es exactly. un cuadro mm -hmm. con exactly. jerárquico. Okay, thank you. Exactly. Well, but that's okay. Okay, thank you. What about some others in this case? Uh, Flor says uh, she is in charge of. Ella está a cargo de algo or responsible for. But in this case. Let's uh, continue with some other question. We have some other um, activities that we're going to do it later. If you could ask any question, what would it be? ¿Qué pregunta sería si pudieses preguntar, verdad? Cualquier cosa y obtener una respuesta. What about if we listen to Gisela and then Laura? Okay, he said, are you ready with your question? Or if you need time, just let me know. Okay, ready? Esa es como de las que mandó al grupo. Yes, 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 es esta misma. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. it's the same, it's the same. Okay, um, me, uh, what event in my future show I prepared for? Mm, very interesting. <laughs> what event should I be prepared for? Para que debería estar preparado? Para algún evento, a very okay, important event. event. And for example, accidents or catastrophes or difficult times, period of times. Yes, why not? Good, Gisela, thank you. And Laura, and then we go with Fatima. Okay, Laura. Why does he allow so much evil in the world? Okay, yes. Why does uh, he allow uh, too much evil in the world. ¿Por qué se permite? ¿Por qué permite tanta maldad en el mundo? Okay. Maybe we have seen, we have seen really uh, well, bad people or, or, or bad situations, especially for kids maybe or for innocents. That's why maybe we ask those kind of questions. Thank you. Very interesting one. And we go with Fatima and Elia. Okay, Fatima, are you ready with your question? Okay, if Fatima is not ready, we go with Eli and then Oscar. Hello. Hello there. Um, I go. Uh, I would hope be you may everything so perfect. Okay, very nice. The, we are. We agree that. There are a lot of things in life that it's so beautiful and perfect. Life, for example, babies and all those things. Thank you. And what about Oscar? And then we go with Douglas. Oscar, are you ready with your question? Eh, no la... No la he estructurado, Tisha. Okay, I'm going to give you time. And sí. let's listen to Douglas and Cesar. Hello, teacher. Uh, maybe my question. Uh, I do the 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 words writing in the in the presentation are interesting. Uh, why allowed to hurt kids? Well, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Why it is allowed to hurt kids. Mm -hmm. And we talk about kids because they are innocent. Mm -hmm. So why uh, some kids are yeah. under 
bad situations or very complicated or suffering times. Thank you, uh, Cesar, and then yeah. Abel. Uh, that I will ask why does work exist if it creates so much debt? Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to finish with Abel, Nelson, and Fernando. Very nice questions. Okay, teacher. If you ask with any question, it will be because so much love to to our humans if we all seem. Okay. Por qué? Okay, can you repeat it again, please? Because because so much love to our humans if we all sim oh, okay why and what the because seria why mm -hmm. too much love towards human if we all sin okay mm -hmm. very nice mm -hmm. because even uh, sometimes people do bad things maybe we have second chance or maybe there are some other aspects to to check in life and fernando if he's ready well without any further ado and the first question is why the people think the money is very important in their life. And maybe with money, you can buy a house, but not the home and different uh, possession. With money, you can buy different possession. But um, I don't know. Yeah, this is from my personal standpoint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very a real point and talking about money i'm talking about possessions and the importance that maybe the money has uh, currently okay yes as you mentioned before uh, you can buy a house but not a home so what well, that's part of the relativity of the life thank you now we're going to have a listening exercise i'm going to play two times and i need you to be ready with your pen or pencil and you can write you can write uh, words or phrases that you do listen, okay? Just give me a second. Okay, let's listen. The miracle of friendship. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart, and you don't know how it happens or when it even starts. But the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift, and you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift. Okay, let's listen one more time. The miracle of friendship. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart, and you don't know how it happens or when it even starts. But the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift, and you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift. Okay. What about some of you? Let's listen. Uh, Jose, Mauricio, do you have any word or phrase that you identified it? In the audio, and you any you happen? Algo así. Mm, okay, we're going to check it later. Janet and then Oscar. Thank you. Always. Okay, good. Oscar and then Juan. Uh, I can hear you, Oscar. Maybe you have to activate your microphone. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, maybe later, okay? Because we can hear you. Juan and then Mario. A mi cabal se me cortó un poquito la comunicación y no 
Escuché bien exactamente. Ok, el audio. We're, going to, we're going to listen again. Vamos a escucharlo de nuevo. Repita. Please. Mm -hmm. Tengo una mejor idea. Ok, let's listen. The miracle of friendship. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart. And you don't know how it happens or when it even starts. But the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift. And you realize that. Friendship is God's most precious gift. Okay. Now we are ready, right? And yes, Juan? Yes. Yes. Friendship. Yes. Mario. Mm -hmm. the, the happening. Okay. Very nice. And let's listen to Mario and then Flor. The same word with Juan. Friendship. But the beginning of the audio is miracle friendship friends mm -hmm. no okay. yeah a friendship yes good one yes flor and then we go with adriana uh, how happy happiness always especially lives yes very nice thank you so in this case i'm going to adriana Okay, if not, I'm going to present this and it says uh, the miracle of friendship. Okay, el milagro de la amistad. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart. And you don't know how it happens or when it even starts, but the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift. And you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift precious como lo decía Smigol en Ser de los Anillos ok so this is like um, very interesting words dwell significa residir so what well, talking about romantic words related to miracles ok and then here we have let me check ok a very important activity that we have this. Complete the questions below with the, uh, the appropriate verb form. Then read the information in Rex organizational chart and answer to the questions. Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a, we are going to do two things. The first thing in here is that we're going to use the verb in parentheses and we're going to add ing form. Los verbos en parentheses los vamos a usar acá con el verbo con la ing, okay? Supervising, checking, repairing, telling, blah, 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 so on. And then we're going to uh, answer this by using the organizational chart, okay? Um, for example, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? The machine operators. ¿Quién es responsable de supervisar el operador de, de maquinaria? Okay, so if we check this, machine operators. The, who is responsible? Supervisor. Okay. So here we have this. Okay. Easy peasy. So maybe we have volunteers for this. I needed to check this organizational chart. And uh, that is uh, the first part is easy, right? Because we're going to use the verb, the verbs in parentheses. We have to add ing like in this example, and then write here or mention uh, who is in charge. ¿Quién está a cargo? Okay. Take a look at this. Take your time. De alguna revisada. And then we're going to complete it.
Okay. Um, any volunteers? Because I have some names ready to complete it. Okay. But if you want to uh, complete two, three, four, five, or six, go ahead. No volunteers? Okay, we're going to take it. So, volunteers, de corazón. Selección. Selección natural, like Charles Darwin. Okay, uh, we're going to pick in this time to Flor. Okay, Florcita. And then Oscar. Uh, number two. Number two. Who is the child of in charge? The in charge checking. of charge ah, in of charge the of checking. checking the quality of the product. Okay. Uh, the sales department. Okay, the quality of the products. Mm -hmm. Sales department. Sales, el de ventas, este. Uh -huh. mm, no. Yes, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Quién está a cargo de revisar la calidad de los productos? Mm. Here we have sales department, computer department, mm. financial, mm. floor mm. manager, quality control inspector. Quality control inspection. Okay, could it be quality control? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Oscar and then Juan. Number three. Okay, three. Who, Who is, is res responsible for repairing the problem of the machine? Mm -hmm. uh, sería my time chief. Okay. Who is responsible for repairing, mm -hmm. repairing, repairing. problems of machines? Could it be Machine. maintenance chief or maintenance personnel? Okay, could it be personnel? Cuando decimos personal, personal is algo something that you take as your own, but personnel is a plural to say employees, como decir el personal, los empleados. So, could it be maintenance personal? Because maintenance, maybe supervising, pero quien lo repara, the person who repairs, it could it be maintenance personal. Okay, Juan, and, and thank you, but very good job. Juan, and after Juan, we go with Mario. Okay, who is accountable for selling the products? Mm -hmm. Who is accountable? Sales department. Yes, sales department. Departamento de ventas. They are in charge of sales. All the products once they are ready. Okay, good okay. one. Okay. Very nice, Mario. And then we go with Odalis. Okay, teacher. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Mm -hmm. I think, I guess, um, supervisors. Okay, no. could it be supervisors maybe? Okay, maybe, I guess this is a team, uh, mm -hmm. machine operators, assembles, truck, truck drivers. Drive. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And here we have Odalis. Six, who is accountable? Okay, if Odalis is not ready, Jose, Mauricio, can you help us, please? Uh, Who is accountable number, for? <laughs> number six. Okay. Who is accountable? Accountable. Uh, no accountable. Ah, they contar. Similar. Accountable. Accountable. For uh, managing, 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 managing the world, mm -hmm. the operation. whole, whole, whole operation, whole la operación operation. completa. Mm -hmm. um, general manager. Mm -hmm. General manager, okay. 
Very nice. Thank you, Jose. Let me see here. Create a basic organizational chart about your company. Describe how you and your department relate to other departments. Okay, we're going to do this later. But first, here we have this. If you had only 24 hours to live, what would you do? Y esta palabra, this word, it's pronounced this. Would. If you had only 24 hours to live, what would you do? ¿Qué haría con 24 horas? 24 hours, maybe it's, it's what? Few time. Muy poco tiempo, it's few time. And I guess you wouldn't sleep. Creo que nadie dormiría, right? But let's ask to some of you. And in this case, we're going to ask, we're going to start with Abel. Abel and then Laura. Okay, Abel, what would you do with 24 hours of your life? Imagine. Mm -hmm. 24 hours of the life. Yeah, 24 hours of life. Mm -hmm. en, okay. este caso, en este caso, la respuesta sería, ya te digo, I'm sorry. I would. I would. I would eat talk about it. I will dedicate 24 hours to my family okay. to live the best memories. Memories. Mm -hmm. Yes. Memories. Very interesting. Yes, because it's the person uh, with the people you love. So try to live the best memories mm -hmm. and take advantage of. 24 hours. Okay, good. A ver. Uh, what about Laura? And then we go with Cesar. I will enjoy my family and friends. Okay, similar to Abel. Okay, enjoy with your family and friends. I would enjoy with family and friends. And Cesar and then Douglas. Um. I will, well, I will spend my money with my family and living with them. Okay, very nice, because you're going <laughs> to take out the money from your bank account. Va a sacar los miles de César. Mi momento ha llegado. This is my moment. Take out your your thousands. And yes, why not have fun with your family? Thank you. Douglas and Elia. Uh, I don't know. I will stay with my family. Okay. Stay home, go out, or have a good time, right, with the family. Stay home. Okay, stay home. Very nice. Elia and then Fatima. Enjoy every day, many me to the follow Okay, enjoy at least 24 hours, okay? Disfrutar, okay? Enjoy 24 hours because you don't have more than one day. Imagine the, a person says, or God tells you, si Dios te dice, okay, Elia, you have 24 hours beginning now, starting now, comenzando ahora. Okay, uh, Fatima and Fernando. Enjoy a okay. uh, feel the with my family. Mm -hmm. Enjoy with family. Okay, Fernando and Flo. I would like to enjoy the little moment of my own family and my co-worker. <laughs> you you wouldn't work working, right? I would like, I would like to enjoy. Okay, very nice. You would like to enjoy. Flor and Gisela. Okay, Flor, what's your I, answer? I could do every, everything that makes me happy, stay family, and I would even do what I have not done. I have went wanted to you in my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, maybe as Flor says, 
we have some activities that we would like to do, but sometimes we need an extreme situation to do it. That usually happens. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, 24 hours. Very nice. And Gisela. Okay. Uh, I will ask for forgiveness, thanks, and say goodbye to the people I love the most. Okay, okay, ask for uh, forgiveness. Pedirías eh, perdón, right? Okay, I'm so sorry if I failed, if I offend you, okay? A lot of things, okay? Espe well, especially with, with your family or, or friends, right? Yeah, because that's so important to say goodbye in peace. And let's listen to Juan. Okay, Juan. Yes, teacher. What about you? Uh, what will you do? Uh, do go, go to people who will expect it from me? O hacer el bien a las personas que menos lo esperan de mí. Okay, very, very nice, because imagine uh, you have 24 hours and it is good when we spend time with family, but there are some other others that they don't expect you to be good with them, right? So be good the last time or be good with people that are not common for you, right? Very interesting. Okay, thank you, Juan. Good. Um, tonight, uh, thank you. Tonight we were supposed to have a name. Well, the name of this song is Le tocaba a Le toca a Alexandra, but I don't know if Alexandra is ready because she told me that uh, she was not. Uh, Hello, teacher. Um, sí la tengo, pero la tengo que se la mando. Eh, ok. Eh, también el, el punto es que puedan compartir. Si puedes compartir o estás, es, are you kind of busy? Que le cante. No, soy muy mal. No, pero la, la puedes presentar desde el celular. You can share with, from the cell phone, right? No, no sabría cómo escuchar. Entendemos el objetivo de eso es que todos puedan. Tú puedes hacerlo, bien. Hace algo. Abrí uh -huh. ahorita esa imagen y la vas a tener en segundo plano, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Y luego, después que la abrís y ya la tenés, ¿verdad? Te salís y te vas a Zoom. En la parte de abajo de Zoom hay un botón. There is a green button. Hay un botón verde que dice compartir pantalla. Le das ahí, seleccionar la imagen y ahí la vamos a ver. Intentemos. Take your time, toma tu tiempo. Yo estoy esperando cuando pase Juan, que hasta coreografía va a ser. Ya dijo. Cabal, pues sí. Ahí va a preparar. Punto artístico para septiembre. Cabal, pues sí. No, pues sí. Ok, Alexandra, ¿cómo vas? Más o menos, borrando los chats. No, permítame que le empiece la imagen. Ok. Recuerda, no tiene que salir el nombre. Le queda a second. Vamos a darle un segundo. Ok. Si nos damos un par de segundos, Michelle. Alexandra. Michelle García Gallardo. Por favor, Michelle. Y me gusta que me digan Alexandra. Ok. Michelle, no. Ok. 
Okay, Alexander. Okay. We're going to have worksheets. In este caso. Okay. Okay, siempre pónganle silent. No se imagina lo que yo he escuchado en las clases cuando le ponen silent. Mejor ni les cuento. Sin comfort, un momento. Very interesting, very interesting conversations. Bien, déjenme ver. Mientras tanto, vamos a avanzar con lo anterior que teníamos. Ya les muestro. Ok, vuelvo con esto mientras se prepara uh, Alexandra. Ok, vamos a utilizar, and we're going to use these comparatives, o sea, esta columna rosada. Look at this. Veamos acá. Nuevamente, está angry, pero para hacerlo comparativo, o sea, para comparar, para la redundancia decimos angrier than. En el caso de attractive es diferente. Utilizamos more, que significa más, more attractive than. En el caso de lo que easy, easier than, pero famoso, more famous than. Entonces se debe a que eh, famous, eh, famous tiene más sílabas. Ahora, si vemos los ejemplos acá. Uh -huh. Aquí estamos. Small es pequeño. Smaller más pequeño. O sea, this book is smaller than that book. Este libro es más pequeño que ese libro. Tenemos cold, frío, colder, que es más helado. Cold helado, colder más helado. Alaska is colder than Hawaii. Alaska es más helado que Hawaii. ¿Ok? Y así sucesivamente. Igual, happy, happier, angry, angrier. Pueden ver, pretty, prettier. Ok, and here we have the other. Y tenemos los otros que son los adjetivos más largos. O sea, dangerous. No se dice dangerous, sir. Se dice more dangerous. This city is more dangerous now. For example, we can say, San Salvador is more dangerous than... Ataco, for example. Okay, it's just an example. And for this, we're going to use this uh, comparison. We have two cards. Entonces, vamos a utilizar um, los adjetivos que están en paréntesis. Look at this. Utilizamos estos adjetivos y tenemos dos op opciones. O le agregamos er al adjetivo o le agregamos more. Vamos a utilizar, voy a hacer uno. Y voy a hacer el último, no como los profesores de matemática que siempre hacen los ejercicios, los primeros ejercicios, perdón. Yo voy a hacer el último. The red car is cleaner. Look. Fácil. The red car is cleaner than the green one. El carro rojo es más limpio que el carro verde. Ahora vamos con la penúltima. The green car, tenemos dirty. Dirty significa sucio. En este caso cambia la Y, ¿verdad? Por la I. Dirtier. The green car is dirtier. Ok, y voy a utilizar otro que es dangerous. Is more dangerous. Okay. Driving the green car is more dangerous than driving the red one. Conducir el carro verde es más peligroso que conducir el carro rojo. Ahora, tomando en cuenta estos dos ejemplos, let's do it. Vamos a completarlos. So in this case, maybe we can have Abel and Janet. 
Okay, Abel. What letter? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. A. A. The green car. The green car is smaller. Smaller than the red car. Perfect. The green car is smaller than the red car. Thank you. Janet and then Jose. The, your, the red car is big, bigger. Yes. Bigger. Bigger. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Than the green car. Entonces estamos diciendo que el carro rojo es más grande que el carro verde. Ahora. Ajá. Big es grande. Bigger es más grande. Grande. Uh -huh. Pero como la hamburguesa que antes eh, teníamos aquí en El Salvador, biggest significa el más grande o la más grande. No sé si era la hamburguesa más grande, pero decía biggest, que significaba la más grande. Entonces, uh -huh. este es un adjetivo normal, este es un comparativo y este es un superlativo que lo vamos a ver mañana. Ok. Uh, nice. Uh, let's listen to some others. Okay. Uh, who goes? I can have it. Jose. Thank you. Jose and then Oscar. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. the, green, the green car is a cheap. Cheaper. Cheaper. Mm -hmm. The, and the red car. And the red car. Thank you very much. Okay, Oscar and then Juan. Letter E. E, okay. I think that the red car is faster. Yes. Faster than? Than the green one. Good one. Mm -hmm. En lugar de decir the green car, puede decir the green one. Mm -hmm. Como que estamos diciendo, ah, el verde. Mm -hmm. Okay, Juan and then Douglas. Okay, D. The red car is more expensive than the green car. Thank you. Very nice. Bingo. More expensive. Es más caro, dice. El rojo es más caro. Maybe. I don't know. And let's listen to Douglas and then Oscar. Ah, no. Douglas and then Mario. Okay. Iron F. Okay, F. The green car is slower mm -hmm. than the red one. Good. Slower than the red one. Perfect. Okay, let's listen to Mario and then Odalis. Okay, if Mario is not ready, Odalis and Marvin. Well, if Odalis is not ready, let's listen now to Gisela. Okay, Gisela, letter G, H, I, or K. What letter? H. Okay, letter H. The green. Mm -hmm. The green car is much better than the red one. Bye. Aquí voy a hacer una pausa. Se dice worse. Pero no, yo no se los había explicado, ya se los voy a explicar. Pero yo sé que no se te va a olvidar, Gisela. <risa> Aunque según la lógica, uh -huh. eh, talking by logistics, it's bother. Se escucha como bother, pero no. Esa es una excepción. va worse. Thank you, Gisela. Gracias por, por elegir ese. Ok, now let's listen to José. No sé si ha pasado, creo que no. Así ha pasado, José. Sí, pero si quiere. <risa> Dale otra vez y después vamos con César. Okay. Eh, I. Okay, I. Eh, 
the car, the red car is mm -hmm. uh, more modern. Yes. The the green ones. Okay, thank you, Cesar. You go. Thank you. It was a very nice, Cesar. And after Cesar, we go with Liliana. Okay. Okay. Right in the red car is safe. Safer. Safer. The driving the green one. Thank you, Liliana. Can you help us with letter G, please? Mm, the red car is much more good than the green one. Okay, very nice. Uh, the red car is much, in este caso, es otra excepción. It's better. Le voy a explicar por qué. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gracias. Super importante esto. Ya vimos, we have started, que le agregamos ER, en algunos casos como biggest o bigger, que les había dicho, le agregamos otra G. Aquí fat, que gordo, fatter. Es como que fat, ustedes, digamos cuando alguien está rellenito. Ok. Pero 10 años después, 10 years later, we are fatter, estamos más gordos, más llenos de amor y de vida. So in this case, father, no es father, father es padre. Ok. Si es fat, fatter. Big, bigger, hot, hotter. Aquí está. Cuando van a la playa están hot, pero al mediodía ustedes están hotter, están más calientes, están más requemados. Ok, so uh, we have to add another final letter. Tenemos que agregar una letra final por dos. Hot, hotter, big, bigger, fat, fatter. Ahora, ya que vimos estos ejemplos, tenemos dos excepciones. Good es bueno, better es mejor. Ok. Tenemos good, better y la otra es the best, que ustedes ya lo han visto en eh, títulos de álbumes, álbumes recopilatorios. The best of Queen, the best of Coldplay, the best of what, and, and so on. Even in Spotify, you can find this the best of. Entonces, en el caso de bad, se dice bad, worse, the worst. Por ejemplo, this is the worst, or today is the worst day of my life. Hoy es el peor día de mi vida. Or today is the best day of my life. Hoy es el mejor día de mi vida. Imagínense, el lunes, mejor día. Ok, so, but when we say better, Better is mejor, okay? You can say, I'm better. Um, you can say, this computer is better than the previous one. Este computer es mejor que el anterior, okay? And so you can compare the things. Así que, eh, bueno, mejor, el mejor. Malo, peor, el peor, okay? Así que cuando alguien le diga, este es el peor día de mi vida. This is the worst day of my life. Usted díganle, este es el peor día de tu vida hasta ahora. Okay. So, let's continue with Alexandra. What about... Ready? Read your song. Are you ready? Okay. Let me uh, give you space. Ahorita. Ya puedo compartir. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Tu momento ha llegado, Alexandra. Alexandra, ven a cantar, me parece. <risa> y lo va a hacer, dice. Bueno, Ale. Excelente. Va a romper el hielo. Ahí está. Ajá. Uh -huh. Can you read it? Podrías leerlo, please. Eh, solo que la palabra después de eso. Eh, Peter no Sweet. Si es, Peter Sweet es verdad. Uh -huh. Agridulce. Uh -huh. yeah. So, Peter Sweet, this tragedy, tragedy. Won't, tragedy won't ask for 
absolute. This melody inside of me still search searches for, searches for a solution. Okay, that is a fatal change. Mm, any idea? <laughs> the bear yes. symphony. It's una banda de the bear symphony. The bear se llama la banda. The bear symphony. The... No. 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 Mm. Ah, Bittersweet Symphony? No. No. Okay. And no. it's a band or a singer? Banda o cantante? It's una banda. It's a band. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my opinion. I don't know Cancer Roses. Así es. Cancer Roses. What is, what is the name of the song? Mm, ¿Ya puedo decir el nombre de la canción? Yes, because they say Guns N' Roses, so maybe... Mm -hmm. Better. Better o bitter. Es B, E, W, T, E, R. Ah, es como estábamos hablando. Ajá, uh -huh, better. Really? Sí. Actually, I don't know this song, and I have... I have no, heard... no, no. Okay, no, but thank you. I'm going to look for it. I'm going to listen to La voy a escuchar because I don't have any idea. Okay, so thank you, Alexandra. Very nice. And para terminar, to finish this, let me see. Creo que todos. Okay, let's. Solo nos quedan un par de minutos. If you have 24 hours. Thank you, Alexandra. Y con lo de la canción, vamos mañana con César. César, are you there? ¿Estás por ahí, César? Sí, teacher. Ok, mañana presentas tú la canción, ok? Sí. Good. Thank you. If you had only 24 hours to live, what would you do? ¿Qué harías? En este caso le preguntamos. In this case, we're going to ask to... Podalis, and then we go with Mirna. Okay, Odalis, what would you do? ¿Qué harías? Hold my sister. Wow. How is in the USA? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. A very specific. Thank you. Let's listen now to Mirna. I will approach God in a praise and worship until the time comes. Okay, and wait until the time comes. Mm -hmm. Why not? Very good plan. Uh, Marvin Edenilson. I will eat my favorite food and spend time with my family. Okay. I guess all of you want to spend time with your family, and that's a really good sign. And Oscar, we go with Oscar and then Mario. Okay. I will contact as many people as possible, family, Friday, Brian, and college. Okay. It is good to have contact with uh, even old friends. Why not? Thank you, Mario. And then we go with Liliana. Okay, Mario, what would you do? Okay. Creo que Mario ya está haciendo lo que quería hacer. Okay, nice. Let's listen to Liliana and then Adriana. Uh, I will spend my time with my family and my dog and maybe cry all day, teacher. Cry all day. Oh, yeah. Well, it's another <laughs> another form to say goodbye. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cry. aceptarlo. <laughs> bien, eh, Liliana, bien. Eh, ¿Qué? Bien. Eh, Sentimental, thank you. Adriana. Okay. okay. Adriana. Like to... Yes? Yeah, please. Okay, I would like to get a tattoo and 
spend much time with my family and my dog. And also I would like to do an extreme sport. Okay, yes, you can do in 24 hours at the two. Where? Yes. In the back, in your arm, in the falda, in the brazo. In my arm. In your arm. Okay, yes. very nice. Thank you. Why not? Okay, so thank you for all your answers. I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia. No se desconecten hasta que termine de pasar la lista de asistencia. Okay, please, please. Eh, Abel, Edenilson, hi. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Alexandra. Present teacher. Y gracias a la señora palabras. Ok. No problem. Ah, y lo de tu pregunta, ¿lo ibas a hacer? ¿Estás lista para la acción? Ah, ok. Ok. I will consume my favorite drinks and food. Watch the atardecer, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Sunset. Ah, sunset. Es como sunset, sunset park. Uh -huh. Watch the sunset, go to the beach. Okay, what are your favorite drinks? Um, coffee and... Are you sure? Coffee? Yeah, okay. coffee, water, and drinks. Quiero ver que otra cosa. Alexandra, very nice. Solo esos, creo. Bueno, el chocolate. Um, okay. uh, una beer antes. Solo una, una. Only one. Only una. Solo una. Solo una. Uh -huh. <laughs> Qué bien portada. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Very nice answer. Okay. Uh, Cesar and Douglas. Hello. Okay, Douglas, Elia. Present. Thank Present. you. Okay, Fatima, Fernando. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Uh, Fernando Flor. Present teacher. Nice, Gisela. Present teacher. Good, thank you, Juan. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Laura, Marvin. Present. Okay. Thank you. Mirna Odalis. Present teacher. Okay, good. Good. Oscar, Liliana. Present teacher. Present. Nice. Mario and Adriana. Present. Okay, thank you. Una pregunta, a question. Hay alguno... ¿Hay alguno de ustedes que no tenga acceso a la plataforma para las tareas? Si hay alguien que lo comente, ¿ok? That's important. Para que ustedes... Yo solo le iba a preguntar al final por la tarea 4, que ahí es donde me he trabado. <risas> eh, hay dificultad con, con algo en específico. El orden de palabras es... Oh, uh -huh. Sí, es el orden de palabras igual en el examen, sí. Yo ahí me he quedado ya no pude avanzar en esas actividades vaya, cuando tengan alguna dificultad así necesito que hagan dos cosas uno, revisen el spelling de las palabras revisen el, cómo se deletrea porque a veces algunos le han, uno, creo que había alguien que le había puesto honestly y es honesty en una, un ejemplo un ejemplo entonces una letra le da problemas, pueden pasar por tres cosas, por una letra o a veces cuando están haciendo oraciones necesitan ponerle un punto final. ¿Ok? Eh, y este... Yo sí. lo he hecho de varias formas. Con punto, <risa> sin punto, con mayúscula al inicio. Con... Ok. Lo hice y no sé. Ok. ¿José? ¿Yes? Uh, no me mencionó uno. <risa> no te mencioné. Y... No. Ajá. Y lo otro que... Bueno, he tenido problemas 
con mi mamá porque tuvo un accidente, entonces por eso el viernes no me conecté. Ok, thank y, you, José, for telling. Gracias por comentar. Sí, tengo la plataforma, el módulo, pero no he ingresado. Hasta okay. hoy voy a ver si puedo avanzar. Sí, sí. Ok, ánimo, toma tu tiempo, pero okay, todavía tienes un par de días para hacerlo, ok, ánimo. Sí, pero yo no comentar. puedo entrar, no tengo acceso. Vaya, los que no puedan entrar, hagamos una cosa, ordenándonos. Si tienen problemas con alguna tarea, mándenme un mensaje a mi número personal, ahí está mi número personal, y me dicen, teacher, tengo dificultades con esto y yo veo de qué manera los puedo apoyar, ok. Me escriben mañana. Eso es uno. Dos, si no tienen acceso o en la plataforma, escriban al grupo de WhatsApp y escriban ahí. Eh, soporte, eh, personal de soporte técnico podrían, a, o de soporte podrían ayudarme, no tengo acceso y se van a comunicar con ustedes ahí para que les apoyen. Ok, okay, okay my friend. Ok, hoy se queda César para la sesión, una sesión cuarta que vamos a tener ahí. El resto, nos vemos mañana. Goodbye, my friends. Yeah. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Goodbye, my friends. Okay, César. Hey, teacher. <laughs> um, veamos, es, podemos hacer eh, dos cosas. O te puedo hacer una entrevista básica, corta, o podemos revisar alguna algún tema gramatical o algún tema pues que, que hemos estudiado hasta el momento tú me dices mm, quiero ver o si tienes otra pregunta con respecto a una estructura gramatical alguna frase pronunciación no problema sí, que, vaya realmente yo con lo que tengo bastantes problemas creo que es, digamos a veces Sí leo lo que me está diciendo, pero cuando me lo dice muy rápido, como que me quedo. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Como más, quizá necesitaría como, no sé, como si tiene más ejercicios como para, o consejos para agudizar el, el oído. Cómo no, cómo no, claro. Este, tres en específico. Primero, este, no sé, ¿qué tipo de música te gusta? Pues a mí me gusta bastante el rock. Ok. En el caso del rock, no sé si hay un, el, el rock, un tanto romántico, power metal, si te gusta el heavy, glam o el punk, no sé. Hay diferentes tipos y la mayoría tiene su vocabulario específico. Por ejemplo, si escuchas heavy, es un poco diferente el vocabulario que utiliza con el romántico, con el punk y así. ¿Cuál es mi punto? Enfócate en los coros de las canciones. Los coros de las canciones es la clave de todo, porque sí puedes aprenderte toda la letra, pero normalmente uno se le olvida. Así que enfócate en los coros de las canciones, aprendételos porque son pegajosos, porque a uno le gusta, y cantarlo. Porque normal, oh, cantarlo no me refiero a que lo haga fuerte, sino que pronunciarlo. Porque a veces uno se lo escucha, pero nuestro labio no se mueve. Tiene que articular. Eso es uno. Segundo, eh, podés buscar ya sea en TED.com o en YouTube algunos eh, tipos de... Ahí hay como unas pequeñas... ¿Qué? Son como videos en donde te, te, te hablan sobre cual, cualquier tema. Amistad... Eh, trabajo, uh, cuestión de ciencia, lo que sea. Y o sea, ponerlo... Puedo, 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 ah, bueno, eh, con podcast. Con podcast, sí, pero que estén subtitulados en inglés. Okay. Porque si lo ves en inglés con subtítulos en español, tu mente, hay una, una parte de tu mente que no llega a conectar el vocabulario porque estás enfocado, enfocado viendo el subtítulo en español. Así que cuando veas cualquier cosa, incluso puedes ver Bob Esponja, puedes ver cualquier eh, que caricatura, serie, mirarla con subtítulos en inglés. Y no es necesario que la veas mucho tiempo. Tómale 10 minutos al día para hacerlo. Cinco pueden hacer. Pero tu cerebro se va a ir adaptando uh -huh. a todo eso. Y el tercero es que... Eh, recordar que
tu mente va a, tu cerebro va a decodificar todo lo que está en contacto y te está alimentando. Entonces, eh, trata de, ¿quién? De, de poner todo, ¿cómo se llama? Tu, tus redes sociales en inglés, eh, por ejemplo, Facebook, Instagram, configurarlo en inglés y te va a ayudar a que tu, tu cerebro cambie el switch y que se meta y que el inglés sea parte de vos, ¿verdad? Porque eso se trata de practicarlo, pero no se trata tanto de practicar las conversations y el vocabulario, que si le doy, que sí es importante, pero debe de todo en general lo que te rodea, ya. Seguir páginas en inglés eh, para que entendas algunos chistes, memes en inglés, ya todo eso. Entonces, cuando ya tu cerebro está bien bombardeado de todo ese vocabulario, las palabras te van a parecer lógicas. Ya, eso. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. Creo, bueno. que, creo que eso, eso te podría a, ayudar bastante, César, ¿verdad? Y como te digo, lo, 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 los listenings que, que, que te pongo cuando yo hable algo rápido o alguien, un compañero hable rápido, enfócate en las palabras que conoces y no te enfoques en las palabras que no conoces. De todo lo que te dice, te dije de una frase, si entendés dos o tres palabras, vas avanzando. Así como los listenings. ¿Has escuchado, verdad, los audios que pongo? Sí, sí. Ajá, entonces, por eso les digo, dime una palabra que entienda, dos palabras, tres, entonces poco a poco tu cerebro va a ir conectando. Es un proceso, pero sí tú debes de estar en contacto con, con el inglés en general, no solo el inglés así académico, sino que en general. Por eso te decía, la música, series, caricaturas. Sí, porque Fede, bueno, es que ahorita, como el, el curso, usualmente había sido como una semana, y en este caso sí se tardó un poco más, ¿ves? se tardó casi, que un poco más de 15 días, creo. Ah, para comenzar. Ajá. Sí, Entonces, sí, sí. Ya en esos 15 días, literalmente no practiqué nada. Sí, lo que sucede es que uno se queda como... Uno se queda varado porque también es bueno que tu cerebro descanse. No lo puedes estar metiéndole tanto. De descansa que una semana, un par de días. Pero como te digo, siempre estarte en, en contacto. A mí, como te digo, en Spotify o donde sea, puedes ver las letras o en YouTube, lo que sea. Y velo como parte de tu vida, no tanto como que te lo tienes que aprender por obligación, sino que disfruta el proceso. Disfruta el proceso de aprender cosas. Ya. Yeah. Y velo de esa manera, más que una obligación. Ya vas a ver que, que ya cuando cambies ese switch, pasa a tu cerebro, ya va a estar más dispuesto a, a captar bastantes palabras y frases. Así sí. que sí, te sugiero que, ajá, haga, hace bastante de eso, lo que te digo, lo de las canciones, solo con eso vas a avanzar bastante. Ok. Sí, sí. Bueno, gracias. Espero que te bueno, ayude un par de tips. <risa> ok, así que ánimo, ánimo, ¿verdad? Ahí nos vemos mañana entonces, oíste, te tocaría a ti la canción, ¿verdad? Sí, a mí me tocaría. Excelente. Bueno, entonces nos vemos okay. mañana, César. Cuídate. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good See you tomorrow, night. my friend. Bye-bye.